Hey there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today's review is going to be slightly different from my past reviews because this review covers two different categories from retro and remix categories perspectively. I got a chance to play the original through Delta recently with Apple now allowing emulators on to the App Store so I thought for the review of Mario vs Donkey Kong, why not talk about both the original and the remake in the same video? I may not be able to do this with the Thousand Year Door or Persona 3 Reload, so I thought this is a rare occasion where I've played both the original and the remake, besides Super Mario 64, so why not shake up the review and review both? So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? And you are probably wondering, what is Mario vs. Donkey Kong? If you've never heard of Mario vs. Donkey Kong before, it's basically a puzzle platformer series that started on the Game Boy Advance, taking inspiration from the Donkey Kong arcade games and Donkey Kong 94. In comparison to other Mario platformers, the controls are a bit different, such as some of Mario's moves, like the backflip, which have been used in 3D Mario games like Super Mario 64, but I hadn't seen it used in 2D Mario games, ignoring this one. The levels in the game don't last that long, because there are two areas in each level, one where you obtain a key, and the other, the capsule, with the mini Mario toy inside. Alright, to start off the review, we're going to review the 2004 original. Mario vs Donkey Kong delivers a charming and addictive gameplay experience. The gameplay mechanics are well refined, offering a delightful blend of puzzle solving and platforming challenges. Controlling Mario and maneuvering through the levels feels intuitive and responsive, making each victory feel earned and satisfying. Visually, the game impresses in vibrant and detailed graphics, especially for a Game Boy Advance game, and the colourful environments and character designs are a treat for the eyes, capturing the essence of the Mario universe. While the story may not be a highlight of the experience, the engaging gameplay and captivating visuals more than compensate for any narrative shortcomings. However, the game may leave some players wanting more in terms of variety and depth, as the levels can start to feel repetitive after extended play sessions. I do think Wario Land 4 has better level design than Mario vs Donkey Kong, and I do think that deserves the remake treatment more. And for the remake, the gameplay maintains the classic charm, but feels tailored more towards handheld devices, maintaining Mario's familiar controls from the original game. However, this adaptation lacks significant innovation in gameplay mechanics, presenting a missed opportunity to breathe new life into the experience for modern players. The visual enhancements inject new life into the franchise with revamped graphics and UI design similar to Super Mario 3D World. These improvements contribute to a more immersive experience, particularly during cutscenes enhancing the overall storytelling aspect of the game. However, the narrative itself fails to resonate as strongly with contemporary audiences, highlighting the challenges of translating an older storyline onto a modern platform. I think they can translate the story of Banjo-Kazooie a bit better onto a modern platform than Mario vs Donkey Kong, but on a modern platform, Mario vs Donkey Kong's story just doesn't work. With minimal new content introduced in the remake, Mario vs Donkey Kong falls short in becoming the definitive version, lacking substantial additions 
beyond two new worlds and a co-op mode, ultimately failing to justify its existence for seasoned fans or newcomers alike. For the summary of the original, the gameplay, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The original offers engaging gameplay mechanics that remain enjoyable, providing a solid foundation for the series. The graphics, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. With vibrant visuals, the original boasts stunning graphics that enhanced the gaming experience and were ahead of its time. The story, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. While not groundbreaking, the original storyline adds depth to the gameplay, offering a satisfying narrative arc. For the content, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The original could have benefit from additional content to prolong player engagement, and for the difficulty, I'm going to give it an easy. The game's easy difficulty makes it accessible to a wide audience, perfect for casual gamers and younger players. For the audience, I'm going to give it a 3 plus. Suitable for players of all ages, and the original caters to a broad demographic, ensuring a widespread appeal. And for the perk, I'm going to give it the play then sell perk. Players can enjoy the game and then trade or sell it, making it a more cost effective choice for budget conscious gamers. And for the remake summary, the gameplay, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. While maintaining the essence of the original, the remake's gameplay lacks significant innovation, offering a familiar yet somewhat stagnant experience. The graphics, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The remake introduces enhanced graphics that breathe new life into the game, elevating the visual presentation to new heights. The story, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The remake struggles to modernise the original storyline, resulting in a narrative that feels somewhat out of place in today's gaming landscape. The content, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Disappointingly, the remake falls short in terms of new content, offering minimal additions beyond the original game, leaving players craving for more substantial updates. The difficulty, I'm going to give it an easy. Similar to its predecessor, the remake maintains the easy difficulty level, ensuring accessibility for players at all skill levels. The audience, I'm going to give it a 3 plus. Like the original, the remake caters to a broad audience, making it suitable for players of all ages. And for the perk, I'm going to give it the play then sell perk, just like the original. Players can enjoy the remake before potentially trading it or selling it, providing a more cost effective gaming option. And overall, I give the original Mario vs Donkey Kong a 7.5 out of 10. With strong gameplay, graphics and a compelling storyline, the original still holds up as a decent game. But unfortunately, the remake gets a 6 out of 10. Despite its visual enhancements, the remake lacks significant gameplay innovation and sparse of new content, and it fails to surpass the predecessor's excellence. And if I had to say which version of Mario vs Donkey Kong is better, I would probably say the original, because the remake just doesn't provide enough content to make a worthy remake. I recommend waiting until the original drops on Nintendo Switch Online or just emulating it on Delta. So guys, what did you think of my review of both Mario vs Donkey Kong and the remake? So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8 out.